Phil Koshavar is doing things he never thought he would do again, like grabbing this mug and taking a sip and eating mashed potatoes. The light bulb went off and said, this really is possible, because before that, I thought, you know, I'd never move my arms again. The 56-year-old was paralyzed below his shoulders eight years ago in a bicycle accident. Now he's using an experimental technology that allows him to move his hand and arm simply by thinking. Yeah, I just did the calibration. Electrodes are implanted in the brain that record signals of the moves he wants to make. A computer interprets the information and electrodes implanted in the arm are stimulated. So he thinks about a movement, we record from the brain signals, we figure out what he was trying to do, and then we make his arm do that by stimulating it. Researchers at Case Western Reserve University believe Bill is the first quadriplegic in the world to have his arm and hand movements restored. These individuals are basically lack independence almost completely, are totally reliant on others for everything they do. And it, even giving them these, these simple functions is, is really meaningful to them. Bill uses the system at the lab three times a week, but work is underway to use the technology in everyday life. Then I can go anywhere and use my arms, so that would be spectacular. Researchers say that could be possible in two to three years. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York.